Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Mugglover, thank you for joining me here in my war room. Let's continue as Communist France. So, uh, one thing that I did between this episode and the last, is that I split off three divisions from Alphonse Georges, and made these three divisions, and I told them that they need to garrison my ports down here. I'm not going to garrison my ports up here, because this division, or this uh, template, this uh, naval fleet, should be able to protect all of my <clears throat> ports in the English Channel. Which means Bay of Biscay should also be okay. So we'll do both. Alright, um, other than that, we're continuing to build up forts along our southern southern border. Uh, and Nice is actually almost has level 10 forts, which is actually really, really good. Um, yeah, we are not going to thrust through Italy, not our plan. One thing that I did notice... Forgot to add, like, anti-tank to my guy's equipment. So that's not good. But we'll see what happens, you know? Uh, recon company we need to add. Logistics or field hospital. We don't have that much manpower. Logistics could be really good, though. Uh, logistics or field hospital. Let's see... Well, see, supply use goes down, which is good. More HP, which is good. More liability, or field hospital gets us more liability as well. More HP, more more HP, more trickle back, and less XP loss. But we use less supplies. I like both. Supply isn't an issue right now, so let's go with field hospitals. Because I want to save maybe save one for anti tank. Because our piercing not so good. All right. Ooh, some of you guys need to train. Might as well let them train first. Uh, yeah. I want to make sure these guys are not green. Alright, good. And good. Because I want to make sure I don't want to use up all my supplies. Uh, we need a lot more support equipment now. And artillery. Support equipment and artillery. Five a day. And again, I'm not making any more uh, military factories at the moment because I want to make sure I get all these forts done by the time war breaks out. So you've got one group of fighters and another four groups, three groups of fighters and one group of tactical bombers. Very nice. So at this point, we're just waiting for war. Um, we got a whole 35% unity, national unity. And now we just got. Better infantry equipment. Nice. 39. Ooh, more organization would be good for mountaineers. I already got this. Um, tanks. Ooh, medium tanks are really, really, really good to get. But we need some superior firepower doctrine. 90 days. We got rid of that bad modifier, Victors of the Great War. So this would be really good to get and use. Infantry equipment, of course. Infantry. Do I have one more? No? Good. We're making some of these for our carriers. These are taking forever because we don't have any oil. Sucks. That's okay. Um, cavalry expert. Don't really use very much. Tactical bombing. Air superiority would be really good to get. Screens. Capital ship attack. Um, could probably honestly use more uh, uh, manpower. Limited conscription. Extensive conscription. Or do I go for, like, mobile tank designer? Armor and heart attack. Max speed and reliability. Kind of like that one the most. Early mobilization? We could use more consumer factories. Let's go with this one. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. So I have more civilian factories. Nice. Oh, one more. Nice has 10 level... 10 forts. 10 little forts. Oh, I should probably also put in some radar. Every single... Every single... Every single thing a radar... No. Every single thing a radar will definitely help you out. Put in all states just in case. I put it all, all over the place. Just in case. Actually. As well as Corsica. Um, yeah. Syria is going to get taken over. 
Uh, Tunisia would be okay. Other than that, uh, we probably don't need it anywhere else. We also want to build up a lot of dockyards, because I need a big navy. Eventually. Mm, but it's Savoy. I'll put in these areas because these will be pretty heavily defended, I would suppose. Alright. I'm pretty good, just waiting for war any day now. Oh, we're getting rid of our artillery deficit, which is really good. Nice. Nuclear effort. Go we'll conduct our research in secret. And getting the extra research slot would be great. I need eventually to go down here, though. Um, would love to do some more of this stuff, but... Fighter focus. Do I just get research blueprints and stuff? No. Nothing else? Not, that kind of sucks. That's okay, though. Get that extra research slot. Up, oh, Italy joined the Axis, of course. Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. And Germany's going to go for war. Alright. So be it, Germany. Uh, hopefully I can hold out against you without any anti-tank. Oh, I should have researched anti-tank right there. Oh, that was a mistake. That's okay, though. I'm sure my light tanks can do... Oh, God, no. Can do terribly. Huh. Well then. Wait, what type of division are they using? Actually. Good, this is such a low, which is good. Um Yeah, four is not great. This is okay. Four and but any more armor then. Sixteen. Get armored, and oh, I can't do that. That'll be better, but I don't have enough army experience for that. We'll see what happens. We should be okay. Yeah. So this is the only template of that. This template uses. Oh, I only changed this division. Okay. Okay. Oh, and you boys. Yeah, you'll need this. Alright. Nice. Advanced machine tools. Let us make sure. Yeah, we've got all that done. We go for some anti tank guns. We might need them soon. Alright, you guys are good. Oh, that deficit's really going away really quickly. Nice. We have a ton of infantry equipment, which is great. We need a lot more support equipment, though. Um. Let us put this on top for now. Ooh, mobile defense. Nice. Uh, let's take off like three or two and just add it to... Oh, crap. Not artillery. That'll be good. Mobile defense. So we get more defense. Nice. Disperse support. Integrated support. It's a lot of soft attack, and I don't like using a lot of support companies, so... Alright, any day now, we're going to go to war. Oh, right. Of course, Poland refuses the ultimatum. We have our second research slot. And... We really like to get a naval base. Yeah. Hmm. Capital ship focus, carrier focus. Yeah, we go with carrier because we get two blueprints for that. Uh, I kind of like this because we need more military factories. Let's go with that. Germany is justifying against us. It's 1939. Of course they would. Why wouldn't they? Um, better support companies would be good. M better entrenchment. Um, maintenance. Supplies. Armor. Uh, I would like to go get some better armor. Ooh, heavy tanks. Hmm. Hmm. Air Doctrine? 1940. Armor. Yeah, we might as well go with armor first. Just because, uh, the next time I'll use my political power is to get more manpower. Alright, German Rock declared war on Poland. We have better factory output and dockyard output. Excavation would be okay. Ooh. Yep. 
Radar, they join the Allies, French Comintern, or French Commune. Germany is justifying against us, of course. Our deficit of artillery is almost done. As well as our motorized deficit. Hmm. And we're out of a deficit of artillery. Very nice. So the Axis is kind of large and thick. With Slovakia. Uh, I want to say Syria is going to be protected by the UK, but maybe not. These divisions should be okay, though. Should have probably changed these divisions. Cavalry. Yeah, that looks pretty bad, honestly. They can move. How fast can they move? Uh, not you guys. Not you guys. Oh, it's you guys. How fast can these guys move? Speed. 6.4 kilometers per hour versus 4. Okay. Construction 3 finished. Great. Um, you know, let's get... Can we get better fighters yet? No. Tactical bombers don't matter. Battlefield support. I don't like going strategic destruction, obviously. Battlefield support. Help us get air superiority. And we need... Change the conscription laws. Extensive conscription. Ah, that manpower, though. That manpower. What are you guys waiting for? Support companies? Support equipment? Ball of Warsaw? Yeah, just a lot of support equipment. And there's almost... Ooh, Luxembourg joined the Allies. Oh, I think... Belgium joined the Allies. N Netherlands. Luxembourg is gone. Oh, uh, we have Germans on our border. Oh boy. These are only level 2 forts. Um, You know what? Oh, that's almost done. Let's start working on like a province up here. Level 2 forts might not be enough to hold them back. Uh, maybe we need to edit our line. Let's do that, just in case. So we have thicker divisions up here. Alright, Savoy, this is just one more that they need. Let's move this down, all the Savoy ones. Just move it down, because I need to work on other forts, pretty much. Um, yeah, we can move that down as well for now. Of course, got to tune this. Make sure I got... This should be good. I'll finish up in Poland. Gives me a little bit more time to react. Just in case Germany will declare war. So that should be good. So I've got only two divisions here. Oh, that's not good. It's really, really not good. Um, do you... Poland's capitulated, of course. Let's extend that right there. Because level 2 port's not going to do well. This is level 10. Champagne needs some more forts first. With, uh, let's move that one up in Q a little bit. Netherlands has capitulated. Now we're just waiting for the declaration of war against me. USSR occupies eastern Poland. And we will be at war very, very soon. I'm thinking we should be able to hold out down here. 6, level 6, level 2 still. 2, 3, uh, 2. Should be okay. Should be. There are subs. All I need, pretty much, is this for this area to be protected. Um, who am I trading with? Where, where is this line going? Oh, are they giving some lies to somebody? Or are we trading with someone? You Cal, Cal... Why am I... Why am I sending supplies to here? Oh. Algeria, France. That's good. More civilian uh, stuff, but... Uh, don't quite understand. Why would we be sending supplies to here? 
I really don't understand that. Maybe someone could have enlightened me. Um, I understand we have supplies coming down here, which is fine. Supplies going up this way should be okay. To here. Argentina. Who am I trading with? Oh, maybe they're someone else's supplies that they're getting from me. Yeah, southern border I'm not too worried about. Hopefully, actually, let's trade these. Probably use these guys down here instead. For air superiority. Belgium has capitulated, of course. Of course. Um, Egyptian, you. Do close air support mission. And you have high priority. How is our stockpile of planes? 43. That does not look good. <laughs> 43 extra planes. Am I making planes? I am making some. But one a month. Oh, I need oil. I will trade for one oil with... Not the German Reich. Oil. Oh, that's a good one. That's fine. Alright. So, German Reich. What's going on, buddy? Now I feel a little more protected, except for here. This is a weak point. Nice. Integrated support. More soft attack. More... Oh, wow. More organization. Very nice. Um, manpower. About 3,000 a month. <clears throat> Ooh, that's level 5 port. Level 2. Level 4, which is really good. Uh, level 2. Level 2. Two, level 2, and of course level 10. Oh, German Reich. What you gonna do? I got quite a few of everything except support equipment. I could probably take off some more from infantry equipment. Which would be fine. We do need quite a few a day. Every day that the Germans do not attack, the better our stuff will be. Support anti-tank or anti-tank hardness. We may want to make some anti-tank. I'm probably only, only going to make the support company. Uh, ooh, I'm out of tungsten. What if I added some anti-tank? Piercing is 26.7, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Mountaineers probably should get the anti-tank, though. More heart attack, more piercing. Yeah. More defense. Let's go with that. Which does lower the XP of all my divisions that use that template. And these guys as well. Alright. Which means we will need a ton of anti-tank. Radar stations, good. Let's go with atomic research because it's 1940. Happy 1940, everyone. <clears throat> now we are really waiting for war. Let us spread out this just a little bit. I want to make sure that all of my areas have an adequate fort line. Ooh, colonial industry finish, nice. Um, cavalry air superiority would be good. I really would like to get better tanks, maybe? Or we should go with ship designer. Let's go with ship designer, because that'll be a goal of ours as well. And four more military factories, please. Each one of their divisions has how many men in it? Eight to ten. Three, one, one, one. Okay. So they're pretty, pretty strong divisions. Fairly strong. Formation flying, very nice. It's 1940. Let's get better research times.
province has three forts, which is good. Can I increase? Yeah, better radar, 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 and radar. I hope I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> I think I am. I think I am. But you never know. I still only have 35 base unity. Uh, Denmark joined the Allies. Uh, Sin Kiang joined Comintern. And Norway joined the Allies. Alright. My divisions need a lot of supplies. Yeah. Reinforcement priority is very high. Ooh, they're not. Nice. Uh, 40, probably better artillery. I'm going to assume better artillery so we get more soft attack. Now we're just kind of waiting. Waiting for the onslaught. Level 4 forts, very nice. Slowly waiting for more equipment. Oh, the Soviet Union guaranteed our independence. Boy, oh, so they'll be Germany will be at war with the Soviet Union when we're they're at war with me. Oh, interesting. I didn't even ask them for that. I don't know how I would, but let's make some medium tanks. Um, we can take out probably one here. That would be good. Definitely need some more oil though. Denmark, of course, has capitulated. You know what? Let's get rid of this as fast as we can. Let's put that up there. Which means this will get done as fast as well. Which is already halfway done, so. So then we won't need as much oil as we do. Um, light tanks. Honestly, get rid of those light tanks. Our next goal, which is to get rid of all the light tanks and turn them into medium tanks, of course. Um, Anti-tank upgrade one, very good. Hard attack piercing. Oh, we can make better light tanks. Or anti-tank, I should say. I wish people would take more of my chromium. Not my steel, chromium. Or I guess some of my steel and my aluminum. Alright, any day now. The Germans will attack. See anti tank. Yeah. Six per week. It's not bad. Yeah, that means diplomats there. Oh, yes, the military factories are done. I'm gonna wait for this. Navy focus or air focus? Let's go with a naval focus. What am I producing? Oh, medium tanks. Romania rejects Hungarian demands. Japan joins the Axis. And Romania seeks meditation. Faced with increasing pressure from Hungary, Romania has asked for impartial commission. Rojas spots willingness to settle to sit on that commission. Back to cause. We certainly will. We certainly will. Uh, betrayed our cause. Sir, sure. Well. Okay, so day two. So the Hungarian side is surprisingly offered conciliatory terms. All of Transylvania will remain with Romania, ex in exchange for some minor concessions for ethnic minorities. Um, accept the offer. Push for better terms. Um, accept the proposal. I like that. All right. So, what do they get in exchange? Anything? No? Okay. Search and destroy. I need to make more carriers. Definitely need to make more carriers. But this should hold off the German Navy. Kriegsmarine for now. Alright, any day now? This is going well. Naval focus is going well. We're completely communist. Max planning is really good. Natural mobilization, recovery, recovery rate, infantry equipment is very good. Uh, none of this has to be looked at. Now we're just kind of waiting. The inevitable wait. 
Seriously, why are they not declaring war on me yet? Oh, there we go. They're going to have war with France very soon. They're already at war with, oh, with uh, the UK. Oh. Oh, I need to focus on a war with... With Spain. Hey. That's an increased uh, value, so I have at least one line of borders against Spain. Description's going to stay th that way. Screens, capital ships. Um... I guess let's go with armor. Heart attack, armor, speed, or reliability. Let's go with that one. Yeah. Let's set this a high priority just in case Nationalist Spain will join uh, the Axis. Because if they do, I'm dead. I'm basically dead. Got more soft attack. Rocket artillery would be okay, but I'm okay on everything else. 1940. Better stuffs. Air Doctrine, you get better fighters. Yeah, let's get better fighters. Alright. Uh, did we just get another military factory? Or something? Champagne. It's finishing up. Let's focus on this instead. Yeah, a lot of these places should have really good forts now. Then again, I mean, if Germany declares war on me... Uh, Soviet Union will guarantee my independence, so that's kind of nice. Uh, naval focus completed. Better destroyers and light cruisers or carriers? I kind of want to go with carriers. Let's go with carriers first, just because it takes more time to produce them. Construction's going well. So these are getting done quicker, faster, better. Oh, nice. Nice. That's good. Support companies. Uh, let's get better this. Defense. That might be really good. Let's see, I've got two guys here. We'll call you Army of the Mountains. I was going to say Spanish Mountains, but whatever. Um, Field Marshal. God, these guys suck so much. Your goal would be, like, take Madrid. Alright. Let's get some better anti-tank. Yeah, this is base game, so you can't improve the base stats. That's okay. Actually, for now, let's add you to this army here. I want these guys to be done as fast as possible. Oh my gosh, that's so many divisions. So our goal, of course, is to focus on finishing out the front line here with forts. And once we have the front line there, then we will have uh, make a fort line down here. That is our goal. Nice. So we've got four divisions down here. Upgrades. Who cares about upgrades when we need more equipment? Oh my gosh, that's so many divisions. Please don't join the war. Ooh, atomic research finished, which is good. 1940. Uh, let's get this first. Because then we'll have a blueprint for that later. But do we need anything else? Maybe some fleet and being. Sub attack. Battleship, heavy cruiser. So we can destroy. That's good. It's on, on high priority. Uh, okay then. So now we're at war. Let's make sure our planes are flying. Northern France. Looks good. Southern France. Looks good. And now this is, uh... So the Soviets did join, join me. Um, they break the molotov ribbon drop pact. Or, oh, God. That does not look good. What, are, are they not attacking? Baby. Uh, I don't know if I want to join their faction yet. Tanu Tuba. Tanu what? Poland. Sure, sure, sure for now. 
Aggression Pact, that'll be fine. Regimental Combat Teams, looks good. And we'll go with this. So, uh, we'll stop here. It's about half an hour already. Uh, the Soviet Union isn't looking good. Maybe I should push the Germans, actually. Well, we'll see what happens. So, uh, the war just started. We are ready to fight. Hopefully, we will be ready to maybe engage the Germans in the next episode. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. It's kind of a bit more of a build-up. I uh, hope you leave a like, guys. Hope you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching me.